As a massive fan of animated adventure movies, I am really pleased to say that Extinct is a brilliant new addition to this awesome genre. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic, I hope you're doing well. So in this video we are going to be reviewing Extinct which is a brand new animated adventure comedy movie that really can give Disney and Pixar a run for their money. Now it's directed by David Silverman who also directed the Simpsons movie Monsters Inc and Road to El Dorado and it's just a really awesome adventure movie that has a really high stakes and larger than life based narrative a really cool and a really fun time traveling aspect, amazing and hilarious moments throughout this movie, and it also introduces the world to the flummels, which are lovable donut creatures that are literally are going to take this world by storm as they are just so adorable and they are just so brilliant as lead characters in this movie and I'm going to be breaking it all down for you in this movie review. <laughs> So we open up the film on the island of Galapagos in 1835 which is full of donut creatures called Flummels and we're then introduced to the two lead characters Op and Ed. Ed is a very pessimistic and serious and grumpy character whereas his sister Op is very opulent, very exuberant and very full of life and unintentionally they cause absolute chaos at their island's festival and are very quickly then banished from the festivities. Whilst they're banished, they then stumble across this transporting flower and come into present day where they find out that actually Flummels are now extinct. The film then takes the characters on a really great fantasy adventure journey as they quickly try to find out why their kind got extinct and really do race against time to try and save their entire species from extinction. Now from a positive point of view, this movie is a really fun, light-hearted comedy adventure movie that honestly is really, really enjoyable from start to finish. Speaking of the finish, the final act of this movie takes a really unexpected and sinister turn, which really does throw everything into chaos. And also, because these characters are so full of personality and are really individualized, they are actually somewhat relatable as well. However, from a negative point of view, I would say the first act of this movie is a little bit childish, but as soon as you get past that, it really is a film for all ages to enjoy. And also, I guess they could have done a little bit more with the time traveling aspect. But you know, that being said, they do do enough for it to be really enjoyable and for it to be really unique as well as they go to really interesting locations. So from a storyline point of view, Extinct is actually really, really wicked. So the cast of Extinct are absolutely awesome as they really do bring all of their characters to life with fantastic voice acting. So let's go through them one by one. So first up, we have Adam Devine who is playing the Ed character. And like I said, he's really pessimistic, really, really serious and really, really grumpy. And he's very desperate to fit in with all of the other flummels in the island. And he really has a really interesting character journey across this movie as he is able to learn a lot of lessons from his sister and becomes a lot more easygoing as the movie progresses. Speaking of his sister, we then have Rachel Bloom who voices the op character who really is so full of life she absolutely loves adventure and she is the literal definition of somebody who wears her heart on her sleeve. However, unintentionally, she does cause a lot of chaos and carnage across this movie. However, she does have a heart of gold and does always try her best to sort it all out. We then have Ken Jeong, who plays the adorable dog Clarence from the present day timeline and he is helping Edenot find out why the Flummers went extinct and trying to help them try to go back to their timeline as well. We also have the other Flummels. Now you don't find out as much about these characters as you do Ed and Op, but you know, one or two of them are really distinct. For example, there's one that's really bossy and is very dismissive of Ed and Op. However, there are some other characters that you do get to find out a lot more about, such as the Extinctables. There are other creatures that also had their species go extinct. For example, a dinosaur, a tiger, and a dodo, and they really do round off the cast of Extinct really, really well, and they really do add another level of jeopardy in this movie really, really well. So from a cast and character's point of view, this movie is actually pretty solid. So the visuals of animations really are my favorite part of this genre, and I'm really pleased to say that Extinct really does excel in this area, I mean, the island of Galapagos looks absolutely awesome. It's a very vibrant island and you really do want to go there 
yourself because it looks absolutely awesome and interestingly it's in complete contrast to the modern day look and feel of the city of Shanghai when Edenop traveled there and speaking of travel all of the different locations that they go to from a time travel point of view looks absolutely awesome and then of course the Flummels themselves they really do lean into the hilarity of these characters being donut shaped and there's so many gags in this movie really making fun of that and really making the most of it as well and so from a visuals point of view this film is actually really really awesome. <laughs> So in terms of comparisons, as this movie is very family based, a lot of friendship, a lot of brilliant creatures and an awesome adventure comedy narrative, I think there's loads of movies that you can compare it to. Now I would say it's a lot stronger than Madagascar, Zootopia, Ice Age, Monsters Inc, Shark's Tale and Surf's Up and I would say it's on the same level as Kung Fu Panda, Shrek, The Incredibles and Tintin and so from a genre point of view is definitely a brilliant company. <laughs> So overall, I really, really enjoyed Extinct. At first, I didn't know what to expect from this movie, but it really did win me over. I absolutely love what they did in the final act of this movie. Like I said, it was really unexpected. I absolutely loved all of the time travel aspects. I really liked the brotherly, sisterly relationship of Edenop. And I just really think the voice acting and the visuals really did come to life and really did make it a brilliant modern animated movie. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. I'd love to hear from you, so please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.